Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Baggedy Crochet. You know, here we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related and sometimes knit. So, if that sort of thing interests you, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And for all my returning friends, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. So today is about yarn. I hope you guys have been catching my tutorials. I've been happy been putting quite a few out. Uh, today is 1-19-2023. So if you've missed any tutorials this past week, please check out my channel because sometimes YouTube, they just don't notify. So uh, who wants to look at some Afghan kits? <laughs> if you watch my channel, you know I am super addicted to Afghan kits. So I... Um, <laughs> purchased my first afghan kit like uh in december i think and after that it kind of spiraled out of control of addiction but what i do with them is what i'm planning on doing with them, them all is i have several commissioned out i pay people to make them and then they're knit and crochet ones and then to help other crocheters you know that you know don't don't want that need commission jobs and then when they send them all back, hopefully this summer, I'm going to auction them all off for the Best, best Friends Animal Society. So, it's going to be a good time. So, let's look over. So, these are all from Mary Maxim. <laughs> Maxim. I think they have some really nice, wonderful kits. I enjoy their kits a lot. So, they had, first off, they had a lot of their Christmas kits on sale when I bought uh, some. So, um, <laughs> I'm too very excited to show you. Um, so we'll talk about some of the kits I got. So I got this one. I actually think that I'm going to commission this out to somebody. It's crochet, but probably, I hope she's not watching, give it to my mother-in-law because this, this is kind of her style. Uh, my father-in-law kind of has an old truck like that. And this is just kind of, you know, her style of thing. So I'll probably give this to her before Christmas this year so she can display it at her house. But isn't that adorable? This is Merry, Merry Christmas Afghan. It's 59 by 48. I don't think that's a bad size. And I think my mother-in-law will really, really love it. So like you, you can tell, it's, it's crochet. Um, <clears throat> I always talk about the yarn that it comes with here. There it is. Beautiful, huh? So it has these balls. I have no idea what this is for. Now I did have a note in some of these that said they had to substitute some, some of the yarn um, because they didn't have it, which is okay. Oh, it's graph crochet. But anybody enjoy that? <laughs> but anyways, it comes with uh, Mary Max some um, starlet yarn. It's a four weight yarn. Feels good. So there's white and black and red and green and blue. And then, you know, I just dropped that. Uh, I'm not really sure what these are for, but I'm sure the pattern states it. It's just some balls of yarn. <laughs> I don't know. It must be something to do, probably just little balls for it looks like maybe in the Christmas tree. They can't, they don't give you a full ball. I don't know why, but it's like a tiny hank of a ball. But anyways, that's what, that's what that one came with. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, it looks like, there's the graph. It looks like it probably goes in with the Christmas tree, all those little balls. I don't know. Hopefully someone else can understand that. I'm not a pattern reader. I am not. So yeah, I love this one. Super cute. And this one I will want to get done. Be giving to my mother-in-law, which I don't think she generally watches this channel. I think she watches my blog channel, so hopefully she doesn't see it. But if she does, you're getting that Helen. <laughs> <laughs> that's her name okay and this one says substitutes yarns as well it's a christmas one and it's so stinking adorable 
um, one of these I was going to keep and one of them I was probably going to give to my mom. I'm super big on Christmas stuff. I like to decorate for Christmas. So this one is the night before Christmas. So it's Santy. I like him. He's adorable. Um, I really think that this one might go to my mother. My mom. Not my husband. Not my in-law, but my mom. She doesn't watch this channel. So <laughs> she watches my blog channel. So. Um, I'll probably give her this to her. I gave her a Christmas afghan last year. And she displayed it. So, probably have this one made up. And she'll really enjoy this one. This one is 47 by 59. So, I got these all on sale at Mary Maxim. Because uh, they were getting rid of Christmas. So, this is actually uh, made with the Starlet yarn as well. And then it has some Mary Maxim white up here. And it says that it was... They substituted some colors. So... I think that it'll be okay. The colors look pretty close to Santa Claus there. And then there's some more scraps here, which I'm sure are going just little pieces that work around in this little sack there. But yeah, that one's cute. Full Santa Claus. I can't decide if I want to give that one to my mom. I'll give you the prices on these if I can find them. I can't. Anyways, they were half, or they were, uh, 23% off, I think, and then I, I got an additional 20% off. And then I got this one. So one of these Santas I'm going to keep, and one of them I'm going to give to my mother. So I'll probably keep this one. It's really nice. I like it. And this actually says it has substituted, substituted yarn as well, which is okay. It looks pretty close to the same colors. The brown's a little bit different than the picture shows, but that's okay. I think it's going to work out well. So this has Starlet yarn in it, the Mary Maxim Starlet. It has Premier Basic. <laughs> it it kind of has a hodgepodge of different yarns. Um, Grundy yarn. So yeah, they substituted quite a few different yarns. But you know what? I think all the colors look well. And it's going to work out okay. It also has little scraps in it there for the little sections, I guess. I suppose. I don't grab crochet, but... I would imagine this little section's up here in his face, uh, or his hat and his beard or whatnot. This one is Festive Fella Afghan. Oh, I have to keep that one. I love the name. He's the Festive Fella. Oh, yeah, I'll keep this one. 47 by 59. So adorable. Huh? Yeah, as soon as they had their Christmas sale this year, my Maxim, I hit that right up because I knew they had Afghan kits that I, uh, wanted from Christmas but it was by the time I discovered Afghan kits it was already in December and I thought I know they're gonna have them on sale after Christmas so I waited <laughs> okay now I got this uh substituted okay this was on sale too I guess they considered it a Afghan kit or a Christmas which I can see why they would. Now, I have one of these already commissioned out, but it's in a different color. It's pink. I have not received it back, but it is commissioned out. It's this one right here. And they had it on sale because it's Christmassy, I guess. Uh, but this time, um, I wanted it to be Christmas color, so I got it in the green. So it comes with Red Heart Ombre, the big balls of it. And then the yarn that I think they substituted was this Mary Maxim Value yarn. Which, because the other one came with the Red Heart Super Saber. Which is a fine um, substitute. They're pretty much the same. So, uh, so these are, this is the white. And then the green is what I got this time. So this was on sale for Christmas as well. Um, I can't really pronounce that, but... But yeah, I have one of these out for commission that I commissioned back in December. So, wait, that's a pink one. Waiting on that to come back. So that was a Christmas one. Yay for Christmas afghans. Huh? Okay. Um, and then I got another Christmas one. Right here. This is a small one. It's called the Nativity Throw. I thought it was really cute. Kind of like a filet crochet, I guess. It 
looks like it'd be pretty easy to do if you could follow a chart. I like it. It's very pretty. But I didn't get it in the white. I got it in red. Um, and, the, and the yarn is the Mary Maxim Glimmer. So it's the sparkly red. It's kind of small, you see. It's 46. I guess that's not real small. 46 by 59. Oh, no, that's not bad at all. That's a nice throw size. I think anywhere close to 60 inches is a nice... That's what I always aim for for my throws. It's a nice throw size. But that's going to look beautiful, isn't it? I love that one a lot. In the red. Maybe I should have got it in the white, but I think the red will still be pretty, too. So, that was my Christmas afghans that I received. Oh, I found a, a sheet. I found a sheet. It doesn't have it. Well, it doesn't have all of them. But the uh, nativity throw that I just showed you was $31 when I got it. Not bad, not bad. That's probably because it has one, two, three four, five, six, uh, 12 balls of that starlit yarn glimmer in there. So, and then the pattern. Nice. Okay. I had to get this because like I said, I used to be a landscape designer, big fan of plants. And I thought this was, I love mosaic crochet. I just don't like the time it takes to do it. Uh, this is called succulent mosaic. So it reminds, it kind of reminded me of a succulent, a little succulent garden with the little plants, you know. I think it's so pretty. Look at that. There were no color choices. This is the colors that it came, but I think the colors are very pretty on it. I love it. My clock's a dinging. This is 48 by 60, so it's a nice size throw. Howdy, Rob. What's going on? That's my kitty, Rob. He's my oldest kitty. Don't knock stuff over, okay? Come on now. You're interrupting my vid, man. All right. So this one, I think, was a little bit, it wasn't on sale, but I did get a 20% discount on it. Um, I don't even see it on here. Mary Maxim's Billings, hardcore. I never understand it. All right, it must be on a different one. Anyways, this one comes with um, the Mary Maxim value yarn. All of it is the Mary Maxim value yarn. Come on, Rob. You did this last time. Pop down, buddy. So you got two pinks, three greens, one gray, and one, two, three, four, five of the browns. I'm going to kick my cat down here. I am so sorry. Rob, go lay on your chair. Don't give me dirty looks in the background either. I know how you are giving the dirty looks. All right, I just take that. Uh, I'm back. Now I got, um, let's see here. Oh, I, this was Christmas out there. <laughs> I got another one of these. Um, I don't know why I have so many of them, but I got the green one and the blue one because they were, they were Christmas sales. Um, I got this one. But it's not made with thread or ombre. It's made with the uh, Mary Maxim Prism yarn in that blue. I think that's going to be so pretty with those Christmas trees. And that uh, yarn is uh, Mary Maxim's best value. That is going to look so pretty. Kind of like the snow. I don't know. The blue and white is just going to be gorgeous. So I got that one as well. Christmas, Christmas. All right. This one wasn't Christmas. Uh, that one right there was $50. That, um, yeah, that blue Christmas tree one. Okay. Okay, then I got this one. Um, I have had this, okay. This is the <clears throat> Berber Afghan um, Overlay Mosaic. USA terms now I have got one of these and I commissioned it out and I've I already received I've, I've only received two back that I commissioned out so far but that's okay because I know things take a while to get done but I did receive this back um and I'm going to show it to you the one I received but um but just a minute I'll tell you about this one so here is the one that I received I commissioned this out to another youtuber um, her channel 
her name is Amy and her channel is Crafting Adventures with Amy. Now I'll link her channel below. It's always good. You can go to her channel and um, check her out and see if you enjoy her video. Subscribe. It's always good to support a fellow YouTuber. So she made this and she did it actually very fast. And this was done um, in Red Heart Ombre in the color Hickory. That is my favorite color of the Red Heart Ombre next to the teal. So let me see if I can get it facing up right. It's a big afghan, but it's so beautiful. And she did such an amazing job and she was so quick at it. Look at that. Now, oh, it's upside down. I knew I was gonna have it upside down. I think it is. Anyways, isn't that pretty, pretty afghan with that hickory brown ombre in the background? Look how big that thing is. This is absolutely amazing. I'm just keeping going because it just never ends. It's a big one. All right. So yes, she did this and she did it, if it be in mosaic, she did it in a very, very nice, fast pace. She got that done quickly. And I'm actually gonna send her another uh, her cuts to do. But um, the reason why I got another one is because when that one came in the mail, my husband's like, oh my gosh, I love that, Mr. Bond. I said, you do? He goes, I love all the, you know, the, the uh, he just loves all the little, you know, designs in it. And he goes, do they make it like green or blue? I go, yeah. I go, would you want one? He said he would love to have one just to hang up on this wall and this wall in the room. And I said, well, I'll grab another kit because um, when their kits are on sale again, um, <clears throat> and then uh, I'll have, I'll commission it out. So I got another one and this is gonna be for Miss, Mr. Bod. He's gonna keep it forever. So this one was not made, this one isn't made with the ombre. It's actually just made with straight red heart super saver in the color real teal he I already showed him that's what the one is on the front he's gonna love it he said he's super excited and then mary maxim's best value is the white that they used um so yeah i'm gonna have to get that one out and made for mr bod but amy you did such a wonderful job on that afghan i mean and you did it in record time so yes, look for her YouTube channel below. I really appreciate you doing that a lot. And yeah, Mr. Bod wants one, he saw that, and, which really surprised me. <clears throat> but he's interested in that type of, of, you know, designs and crochet, he likes that. But that one really appealed to him a lot. And he was just like, I like that. They got it in a green or a blue? And I said, probably. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'll get that one made for him. Here's another Christmas one that I got. <sighs> this one was on sale after Christmas. It's called Prancing All the Way. Prancing All the Way. Oh, there's a the picture. And I'm not even showing you the picture. Isn't that cute? And that's the Dorbs. Takes a 9mm hook. It, um, it's got 6 weight yarn in it. That should probably work out pretty quickly. I don't know though, really. It doesn't give a size on it right at the moment, but not that I can see. But it's made with Mary Maxim Starlet Chunky. So you got the burgundy, the gray, and then it came with yeesh, um, off white and more gray. So yeah, that's a chunky one. Um, Prancing all the way was $55. It was, on, it was on sale. So some of those Atkan kits are pretty expensive. But when you get them on sale like this, um, it's really, it, it, the yarn itself is worth it, you know. So, and then you get the free pattern and everything to go with it. I try not to take up too much more of your time. But wasn't that that uh, Berber Afghan so beautiful that Amy did? I got another one back too, and I, I don't have it here. I would show it to you. I'll show it to you next time. 
Um, it's beautiful too. So, um, and then I got some knitted ones, which I can't knit, but this one's called Twin Cables. Let me get the, uh, I do have an invoice for this one. Remember, I bought, <clears throat> I only buy these when they're on sale. So this is the Twin Cables throw. Isn't that pretty? Knitted. It's, this is a knitted one. All the ones I've showed you were crochet. Now we're moving on to the knitted. I love knits so much, but I just can't do it. This one is 40 by 54. I love that knitted cable. I absolutely adore knitted cables. I like crochet cables too. Um, this one is, um, yeah, 40 by 54. Now I didn't get it in the blue. I got it in this gray. And it's the Mary Maxim Starlet Chunky as well, which is an acrylic yarn. And this one was $45. That's going to be so beautiful. Knit it up. So, so pretty. Look at this one. <laughs> it's knitted. Harvest Blocks Blanket. Um, 54, or uh, if I'm reading, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read it backwards. 45 by 58. It looks backwards in my camera. Is it that a pretty one? It's knitted. Honestly, I don't see a lot of knitted granny square-like things. But then again, I'm not always looking at knit. Um, Harvest Blocks Blanket. So the, the yarn that this came with was Karen Simply Soft. And you got all different colors up in there. All different ones of Karen Simply Soft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 balls, I think. Unless I counted wrong. But anyways, that's going to be pretty. <clears throat> so this one was Harvest Blocks Knitting Harvest Afghan Bountiful Harvest Harvest Gosh, it's so hard to read this stuff. Um, $40 that's what this one was. Yeah. It's worth that. And it's weight and yarn. Okay. I think. Um, and then I got this one. <laughs> which is another knitted cable throw. Bountiful Harvest Afghan. This one was $40 as well. And it is 46 by 58. Look at the fringe on that. Look at the knitted cables on that one. And this came with the Mary Maxim's uh, Irish, um, Aaron Irish Tweed. I got the flecked one. And it came with one, two, three, four, five, twelve 12 balls. <clears throat> Excuse me. 12 balls of that, and here is what it looks like up close. Isn't that gorgeous? Knitted. You could get plain, or you could get, like, cream colored, or you get flecked. I like flecked yarns. Plus, I have a lot of cream afghans already, so. Super excited. That one. And then I'm almost done here. You're probably like, please be done. This is the Diamond Honeycomb Throw. It's a little small. It's 44 by 50. Let me take the picture out, or take the pattern out so you can see it. Um, it was $32. I mean, I only buy these when they're on sale. I don't pay full price. Um, this is knitted, but isn't that going to be beautiful? Now, I didn't get that blue, but now that I see the blue, <laughs> I should have probably got the blue. I got, um, I'm gonna open this up. I like this yarn from Mary Maxim. I got, it's their Aspen yarn. I got this color. That's more my style. It's like rusty with a bunch of different colors mixed in. But that blue is very pretty too. This is gonna be just kind of a smaller throw. But I like it. It's very pretty. And it's knitted. So, put that back in there. Oh man, oh man, I got one more to show you, one more, and by gosh is it a beaut, 
it is a beaut. Um, this is the zigzag throw, which is knitted. I actually am going to have this made for somebody very special. I won't be putting this one in the auction. It's 40 by 52. I know someone that I think would really enjoy this, so, um... I bought this to have it commissioned out to give to some one of my friends. Although it's beautiful and I would love to keep it, but they didn't offer any color option but purple. Purple's beautiful. I love purple, but I'm more of a brown person, you know, rusty pumpkin. But that is absolutely stunning. 40 by 52, I think that's correct. And the zigzag. I don't know why they don't have it on here. I can't even understand their cry sheets. Or... Oh, there it is. It's on the other side. <laughs> Twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight bucks for this. So you get the pattern, which is this one page. One page. I don't know. Maybe it's easy. I don't know anything about knit. And then it comes with Mary Maxim's Best Value. So you got two whites, or cream actually. One, two, three, three light purples and three of this purple. Look at that one. It's got, it's kind of heathered. That one's pretty. This is soft. It feels like Karen Simply Soft. That's what it reminds me of. So that is for somebody special whenever I get that one done. I don't think I'll auction it off. I think maybe I know someone that might enjoy that. So that's it. That's a lot of kits. I got a lot of kits. Um, I got kits off the wazoo, but remember I am. I only buy them when they're on sale, and I am buying them and commissioning them out. <clears throat> I have a lot commissioned out right now, so I have to wait to commission any more out. But um, when they all come back, I'm, I'm going to commission more out, and then eventually I'm going to don't... Uh, uh, get them back and have an auction like I said for and then proceeds all the proceeds will go to the uh, best friends animal society um, so I do pay crocheters to do this um, and I had a lot of people who said that they didn't want payment but I insisted because I don't like for anything for free I do pay $150 per Afghan. If anybody is interested, whenever I do do my next one. Um, I did have a few people that I could not convince otherwise. So that $150 that they would not accept from me, I will put it towards the Best Friends Animal so uh, Society whenever that time comes. Uh, <clears throat> they wouldn't accept any payment. And a couple of them told me just to donate that money that I would have paid them to my charity whenever I do the auction so that is fine and then um yeah so that's the that's the gist of it um yeah I got a lot still to it's gonna be it's the making you know because they're blankets and they take a while and a couple of these like I said I'm Mr. Bod really wants that one real bad and then um uh um a couple of them Christmas ones I'm keeping but yeah, because a lot of people ask me, like, what do I pay? That's what I pay. Um, I think that's fair, uh, a fair price. Um, you can correct me if you think I'm wrong, because I do pay the shipping. I pay for the Afghan kit and the yarn. Um, and I pay for the shipping to the person and the shipping back to me. So it, I have a lot of money invested into it. Um, so, and then it's all going to be auctioned off. 100% of the proceeds will go to the animal shelter. So, so yeah, that's, that's, that's it. So, cause people were just wondering, like if people that were interested, just thought I would tell you that is the flat rate that I pay people. I cannot pay people $400 in Afghan because <clears throat> it's <clears throat> not saying that you're, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not saying your time isn't worth it. It's just, I have so many and I have, um, and like I said, I do have the yarn. 
already and I have to pay shipping both ways and, and I have so many and just the cost just adds up so um that's it I'm gonna go I hope you enjoy looking at them as much as I always enjoy showing them it's always fun to look at the Afghan kits so thanks everybody for watching and if you're still with me you know I always appreciate you watching my videos from start to finish because that's what enables me to keep putting on content check out all them then check out all my new tutorials too. go to my channel and check out my latest tutorial videos all right see if there's anything that you want to make bye guys stay safe